Hello amazing lady and welcome to your C-section recovery program. Firstly, I wanna say well done. Thank you for honoring your body by investing into your recovery. Your body has been through a lot of changes since becoming pregnant. Your body expanded to grow a human, shifting your posture and your center of gravity. You grew a new organ, a placenta, giving nutrients to your growing baby. Your body produced a hormone called relaxin that softened your ligaments and joints, making space for your tiny human. Your uterus expanded up to 500 times larger throughout your pregnancy, and your blood volume doubled. You gave birth via C-section. That alone is major abdominal surgery. So your body has been through a lot. Our bodies are capable of so much, but after giving birth via C-section, we can lose confidence in what our bodies are capable of. I want to encourage you, having a C-section need not define you or limit what your body is capable of. With the right information, the right support, and the right approach, you are able to make progress beyond what you think is possible. The dream of the Birthmark Sisterhood is that you would feel supported and empowered as you are carefully guided through your recovery. It will take time. And I know firsthand that slowing down can be the hardest thing to master. But when we take the time to lay that right foundation, we're actually able to speed up our recovery. You will need to trust the process and be patient with your progress. Heal well now and save yourself potential issues down the track. In this program, you will learn how to honor your body by giving it what it needs, improve your alignment and posture through stretch and activation movements, safely improve your core and pelvic floor function step by step, correct technique through clear instructions and cues to help you master each exercise, know when your body is ready to progress to the next stage of training and heal, restore and strengthen your body so that you can confidently live life without hesitation. Whether you're just days after having your C-section, or weeks, or even months down the track, this program is designed to progressively walk you through your recovery journey. Being a mum can be exhausting, and it can be our natural instinct to put the needs of our tiny humans above our own, where our self-care and well-being take a back seat. I want to encourage you, investing the time and effort into nurturing your body and your mind will not only benefit your body and help strengthen you, it will also benefit the tiny humans of yours. Where you previously felt restricted, you'll be able to feel confident and embrace all that life has to offer. It is worth the effort. So how does it work? The recovery program is broken into three phases. Like a pyramid, each layer builds upon the former phase. It's important you take time to master each phase of training. Within each phase, there are three stages, and each stage progressively builds upon the former stage, leading you safely to a healed, restored, and strong body. Phase one is healed. Healing takes time. You've undergone major abdominal surgery, so taking the time to allow your body, mind, and heart to heal is essential to your recovery. In this phase, we'll focus on gentle, mindful movements. By following the simple workouts, you will be able to lay the right foundations for your alignment and posture. You will also learn to establish the correct breathing pattern for future abdominal workouts. Once you've completed the healed phase, you will move into phase two. Phase two is restored. This phase is all about restoring movements that enable your body to function more effectively on a day-to-day -day basis. You'll be focusing on establishing correct technique and movement patterns of more traditional exercises. This is often the point where people experience a strong urge to push their bodies beyond what they are able to do safely. Please hear me when I say, don't. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Just yet anyway. Phase three is strong. This phase is all about increasing your functional strength and fitness. In this phase, we'll be able to challenge the body and develop its strength and ability to push through. Throughout the workouts, there are exercise progressions so you can find the right level of challenge for you. By the end of this phase, you will know with confidence that you have a healed, restored, and strong body. So how do I get started? 
I have created three different workouts to use throughout the week, stretch, core, and foundations. Complementing these workout sessions will be restorative walking. The purpose of the stretch workouts are to stretch and lengthen muscles that become easily tight due to a combination of having a C-section and being a mum of a newborn. The purpose of the core workouts are to reconnect to our core and pelvic floor muscles. The purpose of the foundational workouts are to learn to engage muscles towards returning to normal day-to-day -day tasks in the future. Complementing these workouts will be restorative walking. This will improve circulation, reduce potential risk of blood clots, reduce stiffness, relieve back pain and constipation and improve your mood. The key is to gradually build up the duration of walking. Start with a few minutes. By the completion of this program, you should be able to comfortably handle an hour of good paced walking. With each phase of training, there's a recommended weekly guide to follow. However, big disclaimer here, the most important part of your recovery journey is learning to go gently and listen to your body. How long should I spend at each stage? Once you're able to do the workouts in stage one with confidence, ease, correct technique, and without straining, then and only then are you ready to progress to the next stage. I would recommend that you spend at least two weeks at each stage. However, there may be some stages that you find yourself there for longer, and that is okay. Remember, the key is that every future stage is based on the understanding that you are able to complete the prior stage confidently. Therefore, Take your time and build your foundations well. It reminds me of building a tower with toy blocks. If the bottom blocks are unstable, then the rest of your structure will be unstable and less likely to withstand much. You are worthy of building your foundations well. Take your time and do it right the first time. So amazing lady, I look forward to doing this journey with you. Just like your physical body needs time to heal, Remember to give yourself grace to allow your heart and your mind time to process what you have been through. Remember, it's not just physical scars that need attention. Whether you had a routine C-section, a gentle C-section, an emergency C-section, or even a traumatic life-changing C-section, your recovery journey is worth the time and the effort to invest into. From the outset, I want you to know that you're not alone. There is a sisterhood of women that are discovering what it is to have confidence in their bodies beyond their C-section. If during any session you have an increase in pain in either your incision or elsewhere, please stop immediately and seek medical advice before continuing. If you notice that your incision hurts a day or so later, it's an indication to let you know that you've done too much. So pull back and go more gently. Please remember, you're an incredible woman so be kind to yourself. This journey that is before you is worth the effort. So go gently, listen to your body, and I look forward to doing this journey with you. Welcome to the Birthmark Sisterhood.